why should somebody look to start a home-based business, side business versus getting a second or third job? That's a really important point. That first chapter sets everything for the rest of the lower your taxes big time. The key here is that people ha have to realize, which many don't unfortunately, that we have two tax systems in this country. And when I say that, everybody says, oh, one for rich and one for poor, and that just isn't true. There's one to make you rich, and there's one to basically take your money and make you poor. Mm. The one to make you, uh, make you poor is the one for employees. Because they basically, they get very little deductions. That we just had this tax reform law that was passed in 2018. Right. Almost nothing came for employees. In fact, if anything, they took things away. Yep. Whereas if you're self-employed, you can write off part of your house, your spouse, the equivalent of your kids' education and weddings. You can set up a pension that makes any government plan look poor, but it was poultry by comparison. I mean, the, the, the tax benefits are just enormous. Not to mention the fact that in the new law, um, if you're a self-employed or an independent contractor or anything like that, you can avoid literally uh, up to 20% of your net income and not have to pay tax on that. Can't do that as an employee. Uh, and even better, people say, well, what happens if, if I have a loss? I'm not making money. You are making money because if you have a loss under the new stimulus law, you can carry back uh, business losses five years nice. and get a refund nice. from the federal and state government for the last five years that you paid or carry it forward forever yep. and offset the next you know, future income. So you never lose a properly documented business deduction. And it, it, is, it astounds me. And, I, and I, to this day, I don't understand why people would want to work overtime and, and, and double time for their for their company when if they, if they you ask yourself a question if, if and, and I think anyone who's got a job if you passed away no matter how good a job you did no matter how hard you worked it would it take what would the, would it take them more than a week to try and find somebody to replace you would they wait more than a week you, you mentioned something pretty awesome about kids you know a lot of our YouTube subscribers uh, have families so you say pay your kids why well, first of all, if they work for you in your business, you can write off that wage and, and get a deduction for that. Mm -hmm. Secondly, uh, they can use that money and put that in a Roth IRA and all that appreciation can be tax free for their college, for their retirement, for all kinds of things. OK, uh, third thing, even if you hire them in non-business related things, you don't get a deduction, but they can put that money into Roth IRAs and, and get the same benefit. I'll put that money in a prepaid tuition plan. So all the appreciation is tax free. So why would you want to give them an allowance, which is not deductible, when you could hire them in your business, get a deduction for it, have them put money into a Roth IRA or a prepaid tuition plan, and all that appreciation is tax free? Why would you not do that? <laughs> That's crazy. Hello. <laughs> That's how people get rich. They got to, you know, this is a tax, you know, the game, this is a, like tic-tac-toe. You ever play tic-tac-toe? Of course. When you first learn tic-tac-toe, I'll bet the person who taught you won all the time. all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what happens once you understand the game? Yeah, it was, it was like, now we get the standoff. We because, got standoff. Not, because I know the That's next move. That's exactly right. We have a standoff. The same thing is true with the tax game. If you don't know what you're doing, the government wins all the time. But if you know what you're doing, it's a standoff. You get a lot more benefits. And that's why it is so important to understand yep. the basic tax rules for your business. And that's why I came out with my book, Lower Your Taxes and Achieve Financial Freedom, exactly for that reason.